What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're finally installing and testing a Range Technologies AFM Delete Module or whatever you might want to call it. Well over a year ago I released this video right here stating and talking about the AFM mode on these trucks and why I hate them. And if you don't know what AFM is, you probably actually do. It stands for Active Fuel Management and it's on a lot of like half ton SUVs and trucks that are from Ford, GM, even Ram has them. I'm not specifically sure about how Ford and Rams work, but specifically in the GM trucks, it's, it's a very faulty system and it's so faulty that they actually took it out of the 19 and 20s, like the new body style trucks, I believe, and they implemented some other kind of system to meet the EPA standards of whatever but um, what it does if you're not aware of it it just drops for the V8 trucks here it drops four cylinders and so it they, they call it V4 mode to save fuel and I believe in the six cylinder trucks it will drop two cylinders to be in V4 mode to save fuel but all it really does in these GM trucks is cause problems like lifter failures the consumption of oil like a lot of oil and a bunch of other issues that these things go through so what a lot of people do is buy a AFM delete or they actually get into the engine itself and delete the uh, delete all the you know the componentry for the AFM but that's not what we're doing today we're actually just going to install a little chip type deal to try to get AFM gone. Now there are a lot of reasons why people like to delete AFM mode and one of them is just because they hate it. I mean, uh, <laughs> you can feel it. You can actually feel it. I mean, I can feel it. A lot of you guys commented on that video saying that you could also feel it. Shifting in and out of V4, V8 mode it makes the truck feel very, very hesitant and like unstable. I, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, but then again, I got a lot of hate on that video saying you're absolutely out of your mind. You can't feel it shift from V8 to V4, which I sure can. I drove a lot of stick shift vehicles in my you know lifetime so far um, so I am very in tune with my vehicles and I don't like the feeling of it shifting from V4 to V8 another reason a lot of people like to get rid of it is because exhaust drone now guys who do like straight piped exhausts and or dual exhaust I guess once it shifts into V4 mode it sounds like a four-cylinder Toyota or something like that because you get a lot of drone and sounds kind of sounds kind of helicopter ish I don't have that issue with my exhaust I went with a three inch cat back MBRP and solar series I don't think it's loud enough to make any kind of effect so I don't hear the exhaust note personally but I do feel you know the jerkiness of having it shift back and forth from V4 to V8 mode and then lastly fuel mileage now this stuff's all implemented to save fuel mileage but a lot of guys comment on my videos and say hey I deleted AFM to give better fuel mileage and I kind of agree with that because my theory here and this could all be in my head this truck cruising on the highway 70 miles per hour shifts into V4 mode it's gonna take more work for them four cylinders to push this truck 70 miles an hour down the highway than it would in just plain eight cylinders so that is all things that we're gonna test here all right so this is the range technologies AFM delete uh, chip module I don't know what you really want to call it these are like 200 bucks online on range technologies website I was actually gifted mine by Robbie from United by trucks thank you Robbie really appreciate it Robbie had one of these trucks to pull around all his classic trucks on his channel and uh, I believe he used this to keep his truck in V8 mode at all times but he has since recently upgraded to like a 2019 or 2020 1500 Duramax, like the diesel version. So uh, good luck with that thing. He didn't need this anymore. So he was kind enough to ship this to me. Once again, thank you, Robbie. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. He does a bunch of classic truck stuff, which is awesome. Yeah, so he shipped this to me. So this is what we're gonna test out. So it's, it's easy. All you gotta do is plug this into the OBD2 port and I mean, that's it, that's it, it's, it's now active. What it does is it just tells the computer in the trucks that there's a load on the engine, on the throttle at all times, so it just keeps it in V8 mode. So that's what we're gonna test. We're gonna plug this thing in, we're gonna go for a drive, talk about it for a little bit, and then I actually have a trip upcoming this weekend couple hundred mile trip so we're gonna run this the entire time and I'm gonna test it you know with fuel mileage and all that compared to like my most recent trip that I did take this truck on about two weeks ago the fuel mileage and stuff with it um, hope that made sense not sure we're gonna plug this thing in and just get it and just go drive <laughs> I don't believe it's anything too crazy. Just gotta get up underneath here. Where's the, there, there we are. Plug this guy in, let's see. Boom, it's installed. And it's uh, it's also blue, which is awesome because I like blue. Thank you, Robbie. Let's see. I mean, don't 
anticipate any lights or anything like that. There isn't anything right now. Obviously, I just started the truck. It's down there and on. And really, from what everybody says is, if this thing does happen to throw a light, just unplug it and plug it back in and it's good. Sometimes you eventually kind of have to do that. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But for right now, we're just gonna go for a drive and test this thing out. All right, real quick, before we do get going, uh, I want you to notice that uh, this was basically my last trip, 400 plus miles, 16.6 MPGs. Um, I haven't really driven this truck since I took that trip, so this is pretty accurate. Last 50, 14.8, and the best, I did reset this before my last trip, and my best was 19.8. So I'll reset all of this information before I go on this trip this weekend, and I'll get back to you. I'm basically just using this clip right here just as a reference for when I do do that review. And as you do see, we are currently in V8 mode. I am going to monitor that basically just going to drive for a little bit and then I'll be back with you with uh, what I think all right so right here right now I'm barely in any kind of throttle it would normally be in v4 mode right now it is an a and I'm coming up to a little hill so I can just punch it a little bit not even punch it but just press the gas down a little bit and it does what it needs to do it doesn't have to think and go back from v4 to v8 and think about downshifting it just does what it wants to do so Coming up to the peak of the hill here, so basically letting off the throttle. And she stays in VA mode. You can see how the fuel uh, fuel mileage kind of goes up real far, so you can tell I'm not on the throttle anymore. I mean, I'm only a mile down the road, but it feels a lot better so far, so stay tuned. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I drove just under 20 miles, it got 19 miles, um, the average uh, last 50 did go up a little bit, didn't even touch the best, uh, but that's not what I'm trying to show you because this isn't a good test yet, once I go on my trip it will be. I just want to show you that I did drive about 20 miles so far, and really with that 20 miles, it does kind of make a noticeable difference. I don't know if it's just like the placebo effect and it's just in your head or not, but I feel like the truck is more of a truck now. It, it's, it feels smoother. It's not jumping in and out of V4, V8 mode constantly. I personally like it, and I don't know what it's gonna do to fuel mileage. We'll see after my trip coming up, and I'll get back to you guys with that, but I like it. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think that have it already? I'm sure, I know most people do have it. I'm very late to the party getting an AFM delete. Um, but so far, so good. No lights, no anything. It never jumped into V4 mode one time. You could tell, you could feel it. It was just, you know, in eight cylinders like, the entire way. So, um, that's really all I got for you guys today. Just wanted to, you know, give everybody an update. Finally get the AFM, get the Range Technologies AFM. Thank you again, Robbie, for that. I know my camera's not focusing too well, but, just want to finally get this thing on. Um, I know content has definitely been lacking lately. It's just been, I got a new job this year and we're currently house hunting and everything just, you know, for some property, which would be, you know, make a lot more room for better and more content, more projects, but it's been crazy. I've been, I've, I've been really doing really bad trying to keep up with my weekly Wednesday uploads. More or less, it's been like every other Wednesday upload and I, I'd love to get back to doing every Wednesday. I have the content for it. I got the stuff for it. I got a bunch of stuff in the garage right now sitting there for this truck. It's just, honest to God, just trying to find the time. So I do appreciate those who have been sticking with me this whole time. We're about to hit 6,000 subs, so I appreciate every single one of you 6,000. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.